We love this city. Now we have our families here. Our kids are in the school here. Um, some words are hard for me, but I need to. ¿Puedo decirlo en español? Ahora vivimos en esta ciudad que nos gusta mucho. Es una ciudad tranquila donde no hemos visto tanta violencia, donde nuestros hijos están creciendo. Now we live in this city that we really like a lot, where there, we haven't seen made much violence, and our kids love being here. Y no nos gustaría irnos a vivir a otros a otros lados. Ahora que estamos viendo cómo las rentas se están incrementando, a, incrementando aquí en, en Monte View. And we would have liked to have to move somewhere else. Now we're seeing that rents are going up here in Mountain View. Hemos platicado con nuestros hijos, con nuestras familias, y les decimos que quizás en algún tiempo tengamos que irnos de aquí. And talking to our children and our family, we told them that maybe soon we'll, we're going to have to leave. Y mis niños, precisamente una de mis niñas que tiene 12 años, me dijo, no mami, llorando, me dijo no. Yo no quiero moverme de aquí. Yo nací aquí, estoy creciendo aquí y quiero seguir viviendo aquí. When I when I talked to my kids, specifically my 12 year old, uh, she told she started crying and she told me that she was born here. She's been living she's been living here and she wants to remain here. Nuestros trabajos los tenemos aquí. Hemos aprendido a amar esta ciudad. Hemos aprendido a amar todo lo que hay aquí, lo que nos rodea, que somos una comunidad bonita, que nos apoyamos, que sería bien difícil dejar todo que nuestros hijos dejen las escuelas, dejar nosotros el trabajo. Our jobs are here, um, and we've grown, to, we've learned to love the city and love the, the and love the diversity and uh, experience the community helping each other. Um, and it would be really devastating if you have to leave and move out and look for a, a different job. Hemos visto también que cuando tuvimos, empezamos a tener este, los problemas y empezamos a, a buscar apoyo con los miembros de la ciudad o con los miembros de, de, de De la, de la policía vimos que nos que nos y sentimos que si sí nos escuchan que si sí nos apoyan entonces queremos seguir luchando juntos then we started speaking about these issues and we talked to some of the elected officials and some of the members for the uh, some of uh, police some police officers and we realized that there is actually an effort to help us y, y lo único que, que queremos es pedirles que por favor nos escuchen Que hay mucho dolor en las familias allá afuera. La, lo que estamos ganando ahorita solo alcanza para pagar la renta. No podemos pagarle a nuestros hijos unas clases particulares. No podemos viajar porque no, no nos alcanza. Pero no queremos dejar de vivir aquí. No queremos irnos a otro lado. So, we live on a, a very low budget. Um, we cannot travel, we cannot go on, on trips, on vacations. Uh, but we don't really want to have to move, and we want to stay here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm going to uh, introduce a, a longtime community member and volunteer, uh, Wendy, Wendy Crowfoot. Wendy, you should uh, come up and uh, share. Hi, I'm Wendy Crawford. So I've been in Mountain View about 20 years, actually this month. Um, but I work in the nonprofit field. So I don't have children, I don't have a husband. I absolutely would be at the very, very, very bottom of those hundred people looking for affordable housing. I just want housing that's affordable. So because I work in nonprofit, on average I'm paying 60 to 70 percent of my take-home pay to live in a one-bedroom apartment in Mountain View, third floor walk-up. I love the town. I moved here because it was between my job and my parents, but I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, it's a real reality. I worry every day. So, and yeah, I don't do vacations. I don't do trips. It does sound like a fantasy. And it's, so my rent went up $100, $100 but I have a feeling it's going to go up about 300 in the next three months from some things I'm hearing. This is terrifying, and 
Not sure where I'll go. So thanks. Years. Um, I'm not here representing them or anything, just myself. Um, I think me and a lot of my friends and colleagues uh, have really been taken aback by this issue lately. I mean, I've lived uh, you know, most of my time here, and uh, it always just—it never occurred to me that people couldn't just live near where they wanted to, or near live near their work and have a short commute. Yeah. I'm fortunate enough to be able to do so. Uh, I live with my girlfriend, who also works at Google. We like to work most days, um, and we're fortunate that we're healthy and able to do that. Um, but I don't want now to be to become a place that only uh, dual Google incomes can afford to rent apartments. That's not the kind of community that I want to live in. But this is the kind of community that I do want to live in. Um, I mean, I love Mountain View. I think we're good, active members of the community. I, you know, maybe I'll, uh, I can hope to raise a family here someday. Um, but it's really hard to put down roots when uh, everything is so uncertain in terms of the housing market and, and the jobs office space increasing with no housing to back it up. Um, and I also want to say that I have a bunch of friends, there are currently five of them living in a small single family house, three or four bedroom house that they fit. Um, two of them own cars and the other three don't. They just bike around. And, now, and four of those five are Googlers. Uh, one of them is a massage therapist who tries to get work at the tech companies. Um, and these, there are people out there like this who want to bike and don't necessarily need to contribute to car traffic. I mean, they like to go hiking, they like to bike on the trails. Um, they would live in more dense housing if it were available and maybe free up that nice family house in the cul-de-sac or family to live in. Um, so I think Mountain View, I'm still learning, I'm here to learn and listen, uh, but I, I see potential for more diverse uh, housing that you know, will relieve pressure in the market and support all share uh, your story and your perspective uh, for up to two minutes. Uh, raise a hand, I'll uh, take, take one or two. Um, okay, hello, can anybody hear me? Stand up, please. Okay. That's okay, I have a clean up on aisle seven voice too. My name is Marilyn Cigna, affectionately known to my friends and neighbors as Moffat Marilyn, and my roommate Johnny and I and my husband and his wife live in Moffat Mobile Home Park. Last, a couple of months ago, we had a scary. We thought that our park had been sold. It turned out it was another park near where they want to build the stuff for Googly, but most of us are getting, I'm in my, I just turned 50. My roommate's in our 60s. We're all disabled. Moving for all of us would be a very traumatic ordeal. And like a lot of people, we love this community too, and we want to stay. And we're just starting to wonder if, you know, this is going to be a town for just the well-off, beautiful people, or is this going to be a place that embraces all of us? I keep hearing this word diversity being thrown around, and I would hope that it would include all of us. And if we did have to leave the park, we don't necessarily want to be downsized and stuffed into shoebox type housing either. A lot of us have, you know, a lifetime accumulation of possessions that we don't want to have to give away or throw away either. And I know that before my friends invited us, my husband and I, to stay with them, my husband, but we would like them to stay in this community and be a part of it as long as we could. And we'd like to have some considerations made to us. Most of us just make $800 a month, and it's getting harder and harder to survive in this community on that income. And like a previous speaker, we don't get to go on vacations or do a lot of the extra things that most people take for granted. But I live in this down here. My, my mother came here to work in 75. I've lived, you know from that time up to present and been a resident of Moffat Mobile Home Park since 1995. And we're all happy here and would like to stay. So I just wanted to address those issues. So, uh, I'm 
I've lived in Mountain View for 40 years, and I too am I'm a homeowner, and I'm concerned about what's happening, but here's what I think should be done. Let's figure out how much housing is rational to build here. How much can conditional can Mountain View afford? Then let's figure out what ratio of new jobs to housing we want. Two to one works for me, but I know many wants one to one. But we can come we we to something in between and say, hey, that's the number of jobs we can afford to have in Mountain View and stop putting all of the pressure, having the build jo jobs and jobs and jobs. You know, Google adding, what, 13, 15,000 people. Uh, in, uh, LinkedIn's going to add 13,000. That puts tremendous pressure on the housing market. I think that's a better solution than to build 10, 20 story apartment complexes. <laughs> I'm Susan Barkin. I've also lived in Mountain View, been a homeowner for more than 40 years. One of my neighbors has rented a house in my neighborhood, which is right next to where the new Google headquarters will be. Their, her, their landlord raised the rent by $750 a month, and they had to move out. They moved out today. I think this is a disgrace. 22-year residence, and it's happening all over the city, and we need to do something. I'm part of PIA. Uh, vivo en Mountain View por 15 años. I've lived in Mountain View for 15 years. La verdad es, estoy muy preocupada sobre las rentas. Soy madre soltera. Trabajo todos los días, ocho horas diario. I am, I'm really worried about the, the rents. I'm a single mother and I work every day, eight hours a day. Uh, para mí es muy difícil, uh, las rentas están demasiado caras. Para mí es muy difícil vivir oh, día a día. Las rentas son muy altas y para mí es muy difícil vivir en un día a día basis. Necesito buscar otro trabajo, pero realmente no puedo porque tengo que cuidar a mis, uh, mis niñas en la tarde. I would need to look for another job, but in reality I can do that because I need to watch over my kids in the afternoon. Uh, yo he platicado con mis hijas acerca de movernos a otro lugar. Pero es muy difícil para mí porque una de mis niñas tiene necesidades especiales. I've talked to my kids about moving to a different city, but it's really hard because one of my kids has this uh, special needs uh, children or child. Uh, ella está muy relacionada con su escuela, con sus maestros que le ayudan, con sus compañeros. Ella conoce sus, ma sus doctores, sus psicólogos, entonces... Yo pienso que he platicado con sus doctores acerca de moverme. Ellos piensan que no es. She's, she's really close to her school, to her teachers, to her um, psychologist. Um, and so she's been talking um, to her about this issue. Creo que para ella no es bueno que yo mueva, me mueva de lugar porque sería empezar para ella nuevas escuelas nuevos uh, personas y yo pienso que no es muy bueno para ni para ella ni para para nosotros it would be really detrimental for her and for her well-being to have to move to a different city and for her to have to, uh, to start from scratch all over again and new school and new teachers and new psychologists it's also really bad for me and, and the rest of my family Estoy muy preocupada, pero creo que deberíamos de pensar un poco más en las cosas personales de cada persona, porque creo que cada persona tiene, tiene problemas uh, por la misma situación sobre la renta. I think that we should all um, look really into our own issues and talk to our neighbors and find out because we're all going through this same issue. Uh, so we need to really come together. 
Bueno, muchas gracias a todos y esperemos que haya algo bueno de esto. Thank you very much and let's hope that something good comes out of this. Uh, hi, my name is Greg Fuller, and I'm a Monterey resident. Uh, Egon, I thought your point about it being more important to put uh, jobs near transit and then houses near transit was interesting. Around here, we generally, I think, most of the projects near transit are housing uh, here in Mountain View. Doesn't that need to be the other half of the equation if the high rises in San Francisco are near transit? Don't other places need to put housing near transit so that people can get to those jobs easily? I mean, if we put jobs near transit too, then whose house is near transit that can take it to their job? So it's a, it's a great question. I think this is, again, it gets back to, you can't solve it on one city. You can't solve it on a single city level. San Francisco really is one of the few places in the region where there are a lot of jobs right near transit. Oakland does as well. But by and large, the majority of employment in Silicon Valley is far, is at least a mile, two miles from the train. So it's not a matter, it's not an either or. There, should, it's not, there shouldn't be housing near transit. There should just be a lot more employment around the rail. And so what San Jose is trying to do with the Deerdown Station area is precisely that, is to have five million square feet of office space. But jobs like to be where other jobs are. So if you start with a kind of existing job hub, it makes sense to expand that as opposed to trying to take San Antonio Caltrain Station and turn it into a job center. Yeah, my name is Tristan Mills. Um, one of the problems in Mountain View is that the city council has refused to build housing in the North Park Bayshore area, or many of Google would live if there were places. So uh, some of those people are going to be turned out. So I encourage whoever is running for the city council to please uh, think about it and seriously decide to build housing in the North Bayshore area. That would also solve a problem with the community from San Francisco on the Google buses. Long Beach, who are dealing with this in a tremendous way, 
um, and, and legal aid down there is really working on it because they're seeing they're seeing transit and transit comes in and everyone gets pushed out of the building as the new buildings come in and so they're opposing the extension of the light rails because they see it as fundamentally just kicking out everyone. And that is absolutely not what we want to see because we want the transit so people can actually ride it, but you don't want the people to be pushed out. And so I think a coalition, a new coalition needs to be formed among those cities that are willing, that are supportive of rentals, that are supportive of, of apartment buildings, but but to go sign for them. I am is a resident of Montague for almost 35 years, and I am an advocate of Montague Rivers, and I am the one number one in the, in the city fighting for affordable housing. And I'm going to give you one stop. My neighbors on the right, Mama Clean Company, from 6 o'clock in the evening to 6 o'clock in the morning. The father is a gardener. They do the work during the day. They have two daughters, and the two of them, they are high school, Montevideo High School, and Graham. They raise their bread, they live in one bedroom apartment. My girls, Papa, Mama, and the two girls, they raise the bread. They're cleaners. They don't earn what a 10 person earn. What happened is that they raise the bread on January to my neighbors, to everybody. Two hundred dollars. They live in one bedroom apartment, and they were paying one thousand and four hundred dollars. Now they're paying one thousand and six hundred dollars. What happened? They moved out. My girls are still in the Mountain View High School. My girls are still here in Graham, but they they were forced to move out. It's disgusting what happened here. It's totally disgusting. And somebody say about the seven hundred dollar that they was raised for somebody. Let me tell you my story. I was a big. I have been here in my field for twenty five years, almost twenty five years. On December second, they sent me a letter to tell me that I was a victim. They give me there is no rent control. It's disgusting what's happening. These are real, decent human beings. And they're living, they, they work, they work so hard. Mom is still working all night long. At 7 o'clock she goes to take the girls to school. Papa works all day long and they have to move out of here. There is one person that I really admire, Mark Sutton, and I'm telling you why. Because he has been shared his wealth with the community. In East Palo Alto, has been donated a huge amount of money, even donated some sort of building for, 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 for provide for their family. Donate a huge amount of dollars to the City of Valley Foundation. Just now, a couple weeks ago, they made 120 billion for, for education and housing. I want more Mark Sackover in my town. I'm tired of these state companies who are coming here to take over. They think that because they have the money. We have Google, Miss and Google, excuse me, you can't hear. Catch, you pay seven billion. Catch. Catch. They pay catch. Seven billion. They have that amount of money. I need more Mark Sackle. You can fix the issue with the housing when the people, take company, provide that. I would love, I dream to have Google, any of these companies to say, I'm going to buy 10 buildings, but each one building is going to have a thousand houses for me and for my community. I'm fighting for that. I'm fighting for the control and I'm fighting for the right and it's justice for low income people. Mountain View is not the 1%. Mountain View is 99% which includes me. And I'm dealing with cancer and I'm dealing with my rent that it was raised $700. Hello, hello. Thank you very much. So I moved across town, um, but that's not really 
Um, rent can be regulated, it may seem bureaucratic and technical. This hasn't been floated anywhere, but uh, as part of the Prop 13 battle, if we index rent control to the advantages that the property owners enjoy under Prop 13 compared to the actual current market value, we can begin to regulate. I said it's technical, it's so bureaucratic and mathematical, but it's a formula index that will get some traction but gets imploded on. That's not really directly my serious concern. I can't get any traction in this town with any of the council people, even the ones whose campaign signs have come out for this. We wouldn't have so much pressure on the housing market in Mountain View if we can get the towns to hire the people who live in the town already. There's got to be 10,000 well-qualified senior and manager level engineers like myself who can go right in as full-time employees with the protected benefits at Google, Samsung, HP, Microsoft, and you know, the other biggies in town. We wouldn't have this huge pressure on our housing market if they would do that instead of this constant ageism from people in their 20s and 30s with the hiring decisions exploiting and abusing contractors. And that's another labor issue, is the abuse of contractor positions versus companies hiring full time, where contractors aren't even given Obamacare level standard compliant health coverage. Meanwhile, we have Google constant, I've been three contracts at Google over 10 years, and it's all been the same time. I mean, it's always the same story. What's the city is gonna, gonna do about the employers abusing contractor versus full-time employer situation, which is a fundamental component of rental instability and population instability. And how can we get them to hire us, regular full-time employees, even if we're 20, 30 years over, people who are making hiring decisions now? Hi, I'm Patrick Moore. I've lived here for a long time. 
Um, and I came from a low income background. Quick question How many people here have actually attended a Mount Lee City Council meeting about a housing project? Okay, this is awesome. But I'll give you a hint is I haven't seen 1660 West Alcamino Camino Real. The vast majority of the speakers there were people who wanted the density of that housing project lower. What do I mock that? The vast majority of speakers, every time that project came up, or people wanted the density lower, not higher. Okay, so the fact is, is that I have never seen a roof as crowded as this the city council build the speakers advocate for higher density. I have seen it filled with people advocating lower density. And I realize that a lot of people here work long hours and it's not convenient and their employers won't understand it. You gotta convince your friends to show up. You gotta convince your brother to show up. You gotta call your, send your son and your daughter to show up. I don't care how young they are. But right now, you know, it's as our speaker said, it's a case of five minutes here, 10 minutes there, and you see your dogs in real numbers. Just saying that nobody seems to show up to city council meetings and we're looking back to higher density. Bravo! My name is Joe yes, Lopez. I've been living in Mountain View for the last 40 years. I'm supposed to be a um, house owner, even though I will die when I am uh, probably more than 100 years, and I will not be able to pay my house. The bank is the real owner of my house. But I am surrounded by people who are struggling as everybody has a stay here, or most of everybody, with the rents that they cannot afford. But every day is getting worse. I like to say that I support the rent control that Ili was talking about. We need to work at a state level for the rent control, it is true. But we need to start talking about that. We need to have the courage to start talking about rent control, even though it may sound impossible to do. Yep. And the other thing that I regret is that I haven't heard the term social responsibility. We need to start talking and teaching about social responsibility. And I am not a religious, very religious person. I am not. A, minister, a religious minister of any kind, but I like to mention every now and then the word morality and moral principles. We need to remind ourselves and everybody around us that we, we have to have moral principles on what we do and what we want other people to do. All the politicians, all the developers, all the ones and positions of responsibility have the moral responsibility to think about your neighbors and to think about everyone else close and far away from you. And that's one thing that we are afraid to say sometimes. We even have to think or to do something about those wealthy people that build mansions like castle styles in Los Altos Hills and Saratoga and everywhere else around us in the hills with 20 or 15 bedrooms and 10 or 15 car garage when we have our neighbors struggling to find a place to park their bicycles. They don't care, they are isolated, they have no civil, they have no social responsibility at all, and we need to start reminding them that we don't have to be religious leaders, because even our religious leaders are afraid to say that, because they are afraid to make the rich, conservative, Catholics mad, so they would not give the money to their churches. Thank you for listening, and I hope that you understood my point.
what some of the decisions that are going to be made in Mountain View um, in the coming uh, weeks and months. Hi, uh, I need somebody to come for me because my name is from Benjamin. I want to make sure that I what I'm going to say. Uh, buenas tardes, mi nombre es Olga. Uh, yo he escuchado todo lo que están hablando, pero para mí algo bien importante que urge ver que puedan ayudar a las familias. Que no somos low income, somos low, low, low income. So, my name is Olga, and I'm glad to be here and listen and hear everything that you have to present. Uh, and I'm just here to ask that you know we need help not only for low income families, but for low, low, low income families. Uh, mi preocupación más grande y la de la gente alrededor, uh, compañeras, amigas uh, de hace años que vivimos aquí en Montevideo. My biggest preoccupation and that of my friends that surround me, um, uh, of all of the people that live here in Montevideo. Porque no, no nada más es el problema de que están aumentando las ventas. El problema es que nos están dando noticias de 60 días. Y para movernos a otro apartamento, las reglas cambiaron drásticamente. So it's not only about the rent control, because we're also getting eviction notice of 60 days. And then when we try to rent in a different place, the whole structure, the whole rules have changed. Uh, para yo moverme a un apartamento de dos recámaras, porque mi, mi familia somos cinco, yo tengo que demostrar que gano so in order for me to move to a two-bedroom apartment where I live with my uh, family of five, I have to prove that I earn three times what I pay uh, for rent. Congratulate the young man who works for Google that came here to support. 
Um, I think that we need more of them, uh, and that shows that he has a big heart. Uh, and also, I want to add to what um, Elena said about the big corporation also looking at what benefit can they give to the community. And the other question, no nos quieren viviendo aquí, pero si nos van a querer para limpiar sus casas, sus apartamentos, van a querer a los esposos para que limpien sus jardines, y van a querer a los demás para que estén cocinando en los restaurantes donde ellos sí podrán estar. Eso no se va a ayudar y todos tienen que hacer algo. Es tiempo de que ya nos escuchen. Y también me da gusto ver que hay muchas familias blancas de otras casas que sí tienen el poder para cambiar, porque a nosotros lo siento decir, pero cuando familias como nosotros hablan, nuestras voces no son tan fuertes. A ver si ahora que ya veo más diversidad, nos escuchan. Muchas gracias.
Uh, uh, let's see, um, there's an El Camino Real uh, precise plan um, that uh, 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 Council Member Ray Ryan will talk about. This is coming up in the middle here. So, um, I'll try this please. We are working on precise plans for San Antonio, for El Camino, and for North Bay Shore. We're working on it this year. All Why no housing in North Bay Shore? I'll be really, really, really happy to talk about it some more. I wrote some of it on the voice. I am really, really tired, frankly. I don't usually don't much of a giveaway for me. But <laughs> to think that the 100, 1,500 units that the businesses in North Bay Shore and the city were interested in putting in North Bay Shore, that that could have resolved the problems of the Bay Area really makes absolutely no sense. We are putting a lot of housing on El Camino Real. The numbers that Avon had about how many units were built in Palo versus Mountain View. Look at just units that have been built. We have hundreds of units coming in on El Camino. We are working on the San Antonio Precise Plan. We're a part of San Antonio. We'll redevelop both housing. You need to, on the, on the city's website, there is, we have a new website. It's really user friendly. There is all the information there about all the development plans coming up in Mountain View. If you have trouble accessing the website, I'm sure you have friends who will help you get the information. So all this year, there will be a lot of plans. Now, tomorrow evening, the Mountain View City Council is talking about helping people who's with, with relocation help for people, low income people, so now it's been people with 50% of the average median income of the area. We're hoping to raise it to 80% of the average median income, which will make it easier if you get pushed out of your apartment complex. It will make it easier to find another apartment. You can get some financial help with that. Um, tomorrow, you know, the information is all on the city website. I'm just city council tomorrow and listen to it. We are building houses, we are planning on it, we're doing our best. We have passed any number of projects where people really complained that we were going to high density and instead places like El Camino with their services, with their transportation, that's where we need housing. North Bay Shore, where we have no schools and no services, is not a place for housing in my opinion, but I wish my opinion is voice and you can read it there. If you have questions, if you want to talk to me, I'm really easy to find. Um, there we go. As Aegon said, there is no easy solution. There is no easy solution. If you come to City Council and speak, whether it's in English or in Russian or in Chinese or in Spanish. We do listen. We work with Pia. On the youth center, we're having a beautiful teen center. It's not true that your voices are not heard. They are heard. You need to come and we need to work together. There's problems. I wish I knew how to resolve them. Let's try to work together.